offering of the Holy Mass. Accept most holy trinity, this sacrifice fulfilled at one time by the divine word and now renewed on this altar through the hands of your priest. I unite myself to the intentions of Jesus Christ, priest and victim, that I may be entirely offered for your glory and for the salvation of all people. Through Jesus Christ, with Jesus Christ, and in Jesus Christ, I intend to adore your eternal majesty, to thank your immense goodness, to satisfy your offended justice, and to beseech your mercy for the church, for my dear ones, and for myself. The angel of the Lord declared unto Mary, And she conceived of the Holy Spirit. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Behold the handmaid of the Lord. Be it done to me according to your word. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. And the Word was made flesh, and dwelt among us. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Pray for us, O Holy Mary, Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. Pour forth, we beseech you, O Lord, Lord, your grace into our hearts, that we, to whom the incarnation of Christ your Son was made known by the message of an angel, may by his passion and cross be brought to the glory of his resurrection through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, as now and will be, forever. Amen. Mass Intentions for the Day For the intentions of the daughters of St. Paul, of Helen Gutierrez, special intentions for Ligaya, Basas, and family, Thanksgiving of Ruben Manalo, special intentions of Dr. Alex Cerillo, for the healing and recovery of Father Nick Reforial SSP, Herbert Garong, Sister May Dalalamon SJBP, Melchor Peña, Violeta Javier, for the eternal repose of the souls of Leonila Dizon Miguel, Aristeo Baltasar, Emilita Enquivel, Victoria de Leon Rojas, Onofre Montalbo, Norman Montalbo, for all the holy souls in purgatory and those who are forgotten, for all living and deceased members of the St. Paul Mass Association, and for the Mass intentions of the Sambuhay TV Mass.
in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask the Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that just as we celebrate the heavenly birthday of the Bishop St. Bonaventure, we may benefit from his great learning and constantly imitate the ardor of his charity through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Exodus. A new king who knew nothing of Joseph came to power in Egypt. He said to his subjects, Look how numerous and powerful the people of the people of the children of Israel are growing, more than so we ourselves. Come, let us deal shrewdly with them to stop their increase. Otherwise, in time of war, they too may join our enemies to fight against us and so leave our country. Accordingly, taskmasters were set over the children of Israel to oppress them with forced labor. Thus, they had to build for Pharaoh the supply cities of Phitom and Ramses. Yet, the more they were oppressed, the more they multiplied and spread. The Egyptians then dreaded the children of Israel and reduced them to cruel slavery, making life bitter for them with hard work in mortar and brick and all kinds of field work, the whole cruel fate of slaves. Pharaoh then commanded all his subjects, Throw into the river every boy that is born to the Hebrews, but you may let all the girls live. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Our help is in the name of the Lord. Our help is in the name of the Lord. Had not the Lord been with us, let Israel say, had not the Lord be, been with us, when men rose up against us, then they would have swallowed us alive when their fury was inflamed against us. Our help is in the name of the Lord. Then, then would the waters have overwhelmed us. The torrent would have swept over us. Over us then would have swept the raging waters. Blessed be the Lord who did, who did not leave us, a prey to their teeth. Our help is in the name of the Lord. We were rescued like a bird from the fowler's snare. Broken was the snare and we were freed. Our help is in the name of the Lord who made heaven and earth. Our help is in the name of the Lord. Alleluia, alleluia. Blessed are they who are persecuted for the sake of righteousness for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. 
Jesus said to his apostles, Do not think that I have come to bring peace upon the earth. I have come to bring not peace but the sword. For I have come to set a man against his father, a daughter against his mother, and a daughter-in-law against her mother-in-law, and one's enemies will be those of his household. Whoever loves father or mother more than me is not worthy of me, and whoever loves son or daughter more than me is not worthy of me. And whoever does not take up his cross and follow after me is not worthy of me. Whoever finds his life will lose it, and whoever loses his life for my sake will find it. Whoever receives you receives me, and whoever receives me receives the one who sent me. Whoever receives a prophet because he is a prophet will receive a prophet's reward. And whoever receives a righteous man because he is righteous will receive a righteous man's reward. And whoever gives only a cup of cold water to one of these little ones to drink because he is a disciple, Amen, I say to you, he will surely not lose his reward. When Jesus finished giving these commands to his twelve disciples, he went away from that place to teach and to preach in their own towns. Sisters and brothers, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Isang magandang araw po sa ating lahat, lalong-lalo na sa mga kapatid nating OFW na nasa iba't ibang panig ng ating mundo, sa mga kapatid natin na nasa kanilang mga tahanan, na may iniindang karamdaman, na nakikibahagi din po sa ating banal na misa ngayon, at sa kanilang mga caregivers na umaagapay sa kanila, sa kan bawat kilos na kanilang ginagawa. Kasama po natin sila ngayon, sa ating mga panalangin, magandang araw din po sa kanilang lahat. Do not think that I have come to bring peace upon the earth. I have come to bring not peace, but sword. Simula pa lamang ng ating ebanghelyo sa araw na ito, ay parang nakakatakot na, di po ba? Sapagkat para sa kaunawaan ng lahat, kapayapaan ang dala ni Jesus sa pagdating niya dito sa mundo, hindi ang pagkakawatak-watak. Ngunit, ito ang dapat nating tandaan. Hindi natin kailangang unawain sa literal na pamamaraan ang ebanghelyo natin sa araw na ito. Pagmamahalan, kaayusan, at pagkakaisa bilang isang pamilya at pamayanan ang mithiin ng pagdating ni Jesus dito sa mundo. Ngunit, bakit nga ba siya nagwika ng ganito? Tingnan po natin sa ganitong angulo. Hindi po ba't sa isang pamilya, pag mayroong bagong rule na iintroduce sa mga anak ang kanilang mga magulang, ay hindi Basta-basta sasabihin ng, kanilang, ng mga bata o ng mga anak sa kanilang mga magulang na, Opo, daddy, mami, sige po, okay po. Hindi ba? Sa panahon ngayon, hindi na ganun kabilis na susunod lamang ang mga bata. Anong mangyayari muna? May dialogue, may usapan, may tanungan. At kapag more than that ang mangyayari, anong mangyayari? Magkakaroon ng tampuhan, hindi pagkakaunawaan, magkakaroon ng division for a while. Di po ba? Kasi hindi naman basta susunod dyan eh. Magtatanong yan. Siyempre, iba ang nakagawian ng mga bata. And here comes another rule at home, bago may diskusyon. O tingnan po natin ngayon ang nangyayari sa, sa kamay nilaan. May mga bagong nagaganap. May paglilinis na nangyayari sa mga kalsada. Inisinasaayos ni Mayor Isko Moreno ang kanyang, ang kanyang lugar. Napakaganda pong tingnan para sa 
para sa mga tao, para sa kabilang side, ang ganda-ganda. Bakit? Sapagkat nagkakaroon ng kaayusan. Ngunit kung sa kabilang banda naman, hindi lahat ay may matutuwa. Siyempre, may mga taong apektado. Ano mang sino to? Pwede yung mga nagtitinda o yung mga taong nagpapasunod ng batas on that in, in specific places. Siyempre, may mga makakalaban sila. Or the mayor himself. So in return, may clashes. May clashes na nangyayari. And kung titingnan po natin sa ganong aspeto na may pagbabanggaan, anong hamon? Kaayusan. Kaayusan. Ano bang goal ng mga magulang doon sa para sa kanilang mga anak? Bakit may bagong rule na ini-implement sa bahay? <clears throat> sa bahay? Kasi these parents want their children to have good lives, to observe something better the way they live. Ang namumuno sa ating pamahalaan, anong ginugusto nila? Magkaroon ng kaayusan ang bayan. Hindi po ba? Ngunit upon imposing something new, may clash. At sa pagdating ni Jesus sa mundo, may mga bagay siyang iniintroduce sa sangkatauhan. Bagay na bago para sa mga tao. At para sa kanila, ang dating ng pagbabagong ito ay parang espadang may talim o talas. Na anong nangyayari? Na hinahamon ang pagiging tao nila. Nasusugatan sila. Ngunit sa huli, mas magandang tingnan that this sword is a challenge. That these changes being implemented are challenges in our lives. Why? Simply because these new things aim to bring goodness in us. Kung babalikan natin, ano ba ang dahilan ng pagdating ni Jesus sa mundo? Hindi ba kaayusan, pagmamahalan, at pagkakaisa? Hindi ang pagkakawatak-watak at pagkakabawag-buwag ng bawat pamilya at pamayanan. And my dear brothers and sisters, new things in our lives may be so challenging, but these challenges give color and meaning in our daily lives. Huwag kang matakot kung may pagbabago, kung ang pagbabago naman na nagaganap sa buhay mo ay para sa kagandahan ng pang-araw-araw mong buhay. Di ba? If changes bring you to something good, well, go for it. Because that is what God wants us to learn. To change for the better. May God bless us all. If we, are, if we are faithful to Christ, we will not be always popular. May this mystery of the tension and struggle of the kingdom help to form our intentions. And in every petition, we respond, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That church members may be courageous and constant in their faith, Amidst opposition and persecution, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That parents may have the strength and courage to guide their children in the ways of faith and Christian life, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That young people may have the strength to, re to resist negative influences, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the Lord may touch the sick, the sorrowing, the troubled, and those who suffer in mind and body. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. 
that those who have died may be happy forever in the kingdom of the Father. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. God, our Father, you sent your Son to help us in our struggles. Comfort us in our pain and give us the strength to always act with trust in your word. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become for us our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. May the sacrifice which we gladly present on the feast of blessed Saint Bonaventure be pleasing to you, O God, for taught by him we to give ourselves entirely to you, in praise through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for through Christ our Lord, for us the festival of Saint Bonaventure, you bid your church rejoice, so too you strengthen her by the example of his life, teach her by his words of preaching, and keep her safe in answer to his prayers. And so, with the company of angels and saints, we sing the hymn of your praise as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me.
the mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Luis Antonio, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may marry to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. For through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lord Jesus Christ, the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Prayer during Communion For those who cannot receive communion, join us in praying the spiritual communion. Jesus, Master, you assure me I am the life. Whoever eats my flesh and drinks my blood will have eternal life. In baptism and in the sacrament of reconciliation, you have communicated to me this life of yours. Now you nourish it by making yourself my food. Take my heart, detach it from the vain things of the world. With all my heart, I love you above all things because you are infinite good and eternal happiness. Amen.
Let us pray. Replenished by the sacred body and the precious blood of your Son, we pray, O Lord our God, that we may celebrate with loving devotion may be our sure pledge of redemption through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you all, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our celebration has ended. Go and proclaim the love of our Lord Jesus Christ. Thanks be to God. <clears throat> o saving victim, opening wide the gate of heaven to men below. Our foes press on from every side thy need supply thy strength bestow to thy great name be endless praise immortal god head one in three O oh, grant us and less length of days in our true native land with thee. Amen. As it was in the beginning is now and will be forever. Amen. to Jesus Master. Jesus Master, sanctify my mind and increase my faith. Jesus, teaching in the church, draw everyone to your school. Jesus Master, deliver me from error, from vain thoughts, and from eternal darkness. Jesus, way between the Father and us, I offer you all and await all from you. Jesus, way of sanctity, make me your faithful imitator. Jesus' way, render me perfect as the Father who is in heaven. Jesus' life, live in me so that I may live in you. Jesus' life, do not permit me to separate myself from you. Jesus' life, Grant that I may live eternally in the joy of your love. Jesus truth, may I be light for the world. Jesus way, may I be example and model for souls. Jesus life, may my presence bring grace and consolation everywhere. Prayer to St. Paul the Apostle I bless you, Jesus, for having elected the Apostle Paul as a model and teacher of holy virginity. And you, Saint Paul, my dear Father, guard my mind, my heart, and my senses, in order that I may know, love, and serve only Jesus, and employ all my energies for His glory. Saint Paul the Apostle, pray for us. Saint Joseph, we venerate you as the model of laborers, the friend of the poor, the consoler of the afflicted, and those forced to leave their own land, the saint of divine providence. On earth, you represented the universal goodness and concern of the Heavenly Father. You were the carpenter of Nazareth, and work teacher to the Son of God, who became a humble laborer for us. Assist with your prayers all who labor in intellectual, moral, and material work. For the nations obtain legislation inspired by the gospel, the spirit of Christian charity, a way of governing 
in accord with justice and peace. Amen. Saint Joseph, pray for us.